Moses is an expert at farming maize. But when it comes to cows, he's just a beginner. And he wants to start a dairy business next year. So we've invited John Karaoke from Coopers to come and give us some expert advice. Karaoke is visiting Grace, Moses' neighbor. Grace keeps dairy cows and she wants some advice on milking. So we've decided to help both farmers by asking Karaoke to take a look at the cows on Grace's farm and bringing Moses along to listen in. This way we can help Grace and Moses too. So uh, if I can ask Grace, how long have you kept your cows? Two years. Two years now. Mm. And uh, do they produce milk? Yeah. Uh, how many liters per day? Mm, approximately like 48, 48 kilos. Per day? Mm. That's a lot of milk. They can do better. Mm -hmm. There are things that I would like to pinpoint mm -hmm. on her management. All right. Yeah. Um, uh, number one, yeah. the shed was very dirty. Mm -hmm. The sleeping area yeah. and the milking area. When the cows are sleeping in a dirty area, you are predisposed to getting mastitis. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. What causes mastitis? Uh, mastitis is brought about by two aspects. Number one, poor milking techniques. Number two is now the hygiene of your milking area and of the sleeping area. What is the solution? Maintain cleanliness and you disinfect. Disinfecting has two key steps. First, the cow shed needs to be cleaned. And then second, the cow must be cleaned too. So first, let's look at the cow shed. Just before you get to your cow shed, you come with a lot of germs from the shamba, from the neighbors. You need to disinfect your feet. You need to disinfect your gum boots. So you need to make a good foot bath and you put cuparside. Yeah. Even at the entrance, any car coming in, there's a dower to put in. That is number one. Number two, use cuparside in your sleeping area and the milking area to wash the floor. This one will kill all the bacteria in the shed, all the viruses and all the mycoplasmas, mm -hmm. and the disease causing mastitis in your milking par. So to get rid of diseases like mastitis, add a disinfectant foot bath at the entrance to the cow shed. Fill with 100 ml of cuparside in 10 liters of water. Replace every two weeks. Then spray both the cow's sleeping area and the milking area every week. Mix 25 ml of cuparside in a 10 liter knapsack. Don't worry, when diluted, cuparside is not toxic and is safe for animals. Now the shed is clean. Now you come again to the cow. The technique of milking the cow. Start wash the udder with warm water. Possibly one cow takes about four and a half liters of lukewarm water to wash the udder. And that water, you just don't wash it. You mix with 15 ml of mustard. You wash the udder and wash the teats. That is before milking. You wipe the udder dry. Before milking, wash the cow's udder. Mix 15 milliliters of mastrite in around four and a half liters of warm water. And remember, each cow's udder should be washed and dried using separate towels. Now we come to milking. When we start milking, you don't just milk bare hand. You need to use Cooper's milking salve. Oh. This will soften the teeth. If there are some mild woods or chaps, it will heal. It will soothe for the cow. Then you start milking. Once you are through with the milking, you get mastrite. We have it here. Use a teeth deep cup. Okay, I've never seen this. This one you mix mastrite and water in a ratio of one is to one. Then you teeth deep and leave it there up to the next milking. That will give your teeth protection for up to 12 hours. No germs can get around the teeth. Now, when milking, use a milking salve to soften and heal the teeth. Then after milking, use a teeth deep cup filled with equal amounts of mastrite and water to make sure no diseases can enter the teeth. Yes. You know, in the end of the day, I having a cow, the important side of it yes. is milking and the production. True. And it's good that myself, mm -hmm. now I'm educated enough yes. so that when I start mine, yeah. there's no sotica. Ah. Uh -huh.